Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And we're doing another rack store video today. You know what? I love doing these rack store videos. It's fun It comb the rack stores for hidden gems. Not everything in the rack store is a gem. So they have a lot of the typical cheapy ones that you're gonna find. You're gonna see a lot of Hollisters. You're gonna see a lot of the English laundries, CKs, right? All the stuff that we see, but I'm there to try to find ones that you don't typically find there. So I have a couple here. One of them I have never seen in the rack store in all the time I've been looking. And it's actually a pretty hyped cheapie. And then the other is another popular one from a fantastic line that I absolutely love. I'm excited to try that one as well. So without further ado, let's get into it and start with the first scent. So the first scent, as I said, I have never seen this in the rack store prior to this. And I was excited to see it because I've heard it talked about. I, I've never smelled it before, so this will be a blind uh, smell test. Like all my other rack store videos, typically what I'll do is I'll spray it on a strip, see if I can pick out notes, then put it on skin, see how it, see how it changes. But I'm excited to try this one. The scent I am talking about is Bois de Vetiver from Karl Lagerfeld. This is a 100 ml that I got at Burlington for $31.99. So excited to try this. I've heard other YouTubers sort of hype this one up a bit and I've never tried it. So let's get into it. So bottles, pretty cool. I like the gradient here. It's almost like a uh, clear to uh, midnight blue gradient. You got Bois de Vetiver and Karl Lagerfeld on the front. And I don't like to go too crazy with the cap, really cheap plastic, um, but the glass itself, pretty thick glass, feels heavy. Not too bad, reminds me a, a bit of the Mercedes-Benz Cologne uh, bottle. My guess is that this was returned at one point. The top of the cellophane was missing from the box. Um, okay, in the air. Very nice. Reminds me of something else I have. Reminds me a bit of Black Linen by Joseph Abood, which you guys know I love. I've talked about that many times on my channel before. Great sort of alternative to Tear d'Hermes. So let's spray this on a strip. Atomizer wasn't that nice. See what Bois de Vetiver has to offer. I think this is pretty much I paid $31.99. It's, you might be able to get it a bit cheaper on online discounters. I'll be sure to link it down below. Okay, so it's really nice. I'm getting sort of a clean citrus opening. Some woods, maybe some, obviously a bit of vetiver. It's a bit green and grassy. I, almost like an orange citrus, tangerine, something along those lines. Not too bad. Uh, not overly synthetic, a little bit sweet. Falls a bit flat on the strip. Doesn't really pop. Maybe some bergamot. Soda has that lime, orange, citrus feel up top. Let's try it on skin. I'm not picking up a ton off of the strip. And, I, and that's typical with some of these cheapies. Normally comes alive on skin, which makes sense. Okay, so on skin, I am picking up more. I'm still picking up that citrus, but I'm also getting sort of what comes across as a grapefruit along with that orange, which is really nice. There's something green. It's a bit herbal. I'm definitely getting the vetiver. I know some people talk about not getting vetiver from this, but I'm certainly getting the vetiver. It's not a huge amount of vetiver, but I'm definitely picking it up. But the citrus up top is very nice, very refreshing, very bright. This has a really nice quality to it. It, do it doesn't smell overly synthetic. It's very nice. It's a bit cooling, so maybe mint or geranium in this. This is really nice. Let me look up the notes. Okay, so the notes are blood orange, pink grapefruit, mint up top. I'm definitely getting that cooling effect from the mint, vetiver, rose, geranium, ambroxan, musk, patchouli. Interesting, ambroxan in this. Not really picking up a lot of the ambroxan, but it is listed as a base note, so it's possible that that will start to reveal itself more as this dries down. With ambroxan, you're gonna get a sort of, maybe a clean, I, I did get that sort of clean smell when I first sprayed it on the strip. That clean, it helps project fresh smell. This is very nice. It's getting a bit creamy. Yeah, I like this one. You know, I don't necessarily hold on to everything that I pick up. If I have some, I'm very sort of strategic with my collection. I try not to own too many scents that are similar. I don't like redundancy in my collection. If you own a Tea d'Hermes or if you own, like in my case, I, I own, I do have Tea d'Hermes O Intense Vetiver. This is far less vetiver in this than what I get from that. But I do own 
as I said, black linen from Joseph Abood, which is a fantastic alternative to Terry Dermez. It reminds me of this a bit. It remind this also reminds me a bit of Mercedes Benz Fresh, I believe, or Silver. One of the two. I'll, I'll I'll include a photo of the one that it reminds me of. Yeah, really nice scent. I I really like the opening. It's drying down nice. It's becoming a bit more rounded, creamy. Not a bad scent. Projection doesn't seem to be anything crazy. It's not filling the room or anything like that. Longevity, that might be the question mark on this one. It doesn't really smell like anything that might last particularly long on my skin, at least. As far as occasions go for this, I would imagine perfect sort of work scent, daytime, spring, summer scent. I wouldn't necessarily wear this on a date or out at night. Definitely a safe fragrance. As I said, wear it during the day to the office, out with friends, you could probably get away with it. It's pretty a nondescript kind of fragrance. Not that it's boring in any way, but it's sort of that definitely a safe sort of go-to for a guy in his mid twenties and up. Uh, yeah, not a bad scent. Bois de Vetiver from Karl Lagerfeld. So this next one, as I said, it's from a line that I love. So I'm excited to try this one. You guys have talked about this one before. You've mentioned it in the comments, wanted me to try it. I finally saw it at the rack store. I also got this one at Burlington. Scent I'm talking about, Banana Republic's Metal Rain. Got this one for $22.99. So nothing new in terms of presentation. I really like the presentation of the icon line. You sort of have this drawer style um, box with the scent inside. And I like it. I think it's classy, simple. I love the, the branding, the labeling that Banana Republic does on the icon line. Uh, it's minimalistic, which I really like color of the bottle is sort of this frosted, almost see-through gray metallic color. You got metal rain on the front, simple white label. Yeah, so in the air, I get a freshness, uh, soapy clean almost, out of the air, bit of brightness from some type of citrus. Let's get it on strip, get to testing it. So I'm getting almost a fruity citrus. It's very airy very aromatic. So there's, I'm getting a, a touch of lavender in it. It's a bit woody, really fresh, musky, clean smelling, reminiscent of something. I know this gets compared to Silver Mountain Water. It's been a, quite a long time since I've tried that one. So without having them next to each other, it's hard. I'm not really being reminded of that scent in particular. I am being reminded a bit of another Creed fragrance that I own, however, which is Himalaya, which also has elements to it that reminds me a bit of Silver Mountain Water. I'm getting some woodiness from this. It's a bit creamy. I'm guessing there's probably sandalwood in this. Can't quite make out the citrus up top. It, this is really well blended, which is nothing surprising to me because I Banana Republic's Icon line is fantastic blend. They do just such great fragrances for what you pay. Really great fragrances in general, aside from what you pay. It's a bit green. I'm definitely picking up this watery sort of ozonic feel. It could be from like a violet leaf or something. Let's try it on skin and look up the notes. Okay, so the notes in Metal Rain from Banana Republic, black currant, lemon, violet leaf, basil, lavender, green tea, ozonic notes, galabanum, sandalwood, and brox inside, cashmere, and, and musk. Okay, so on skin, I'm definitely picking up that black currant. It's a fruity citrus up top. In addition to the lemon, the lemon pops way more. I couldn't quite make out the citrus on the strip. Definitely more lemon up top. Way more lavender on my skin. Much more clean, aromatic smell than off strip. This is really nice. I, I, I'm enjoying it. I would imagine this is definitely one of the more safer ones. Uh, not that the others from the Icon line aren't safe, but this is definitely more safe and this is definitely more mass pleasing, I would say. This one, you know, it, it it reminds me of other things. So from what I really like about Banana Republic's Icon line is that they are very unique fragrances. In my opinion, they sort of stand on their own and it's could be easy to compare them to something else. This is easier to compare to other things I've smelled. Almost has like a 90s vibe to it. Like, a, like almost like a Tommy Hilfiger vibe. Not that it smells like Tommy, but it's, just giving me that sort of 90s vibe in a weird way. 90s, yeah, definitely. 
sandalwood I'm picking up quite a bit as it dries down. In terms of occasions and all that, I think this is could be worn as a everyday signature scent, definitely in the spring and summer. Might not hold up that great in the winter, to be quite honest. It's sort of a very light, airy scent on my skin. Um, it's not projecting really very well at all, in my opinion. Uh, in longevity, I would imagine this is on the weaker side, just based on how I'm, how it's projecting and what I'm picking up. These are eau de parfum concentrations. So my guess is this is gonna sit closer to the skin, but traditionally Banana Republic's fragrances don't last particularly long. I usually get around five or six hours for most of them, but this is a nice scent nonetheless. Uh, pretty impressed by it. Does smell like something I already own. It, again, it's in that vein of Creed's Himalaya, which is that sort of gentlemanly wear it every day, airy, ozonic, uh, a bit sweet, a, a, a bit citrus and uh, fruity citrus up top and drying down into that woody musk, uh, just kind of clean soapy uh, vibe to it. So I like this one. Um, yeah, not a bad scent. Banana Republic's Metal Rain. You can do a lot worse for $22.99. That's all I have for today's haul, guys. I appreciate the support. If you like what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.